Hello, my name is Tim Schaefer. I'm with Allen & Heath. Today we'll be talking about the Continuity UI and showing you a couple cool features on the new Advantis Digital Mixer. Now you may be wondering what we mean by Continuity UI. Well, Allen Heath is always striving for a user experience that allows seamless workflow between the physical controls on the console and the on-screen software. The Continuity UI was developed based on the modern paradigm of smartphones and powerful touchscreen-driven tablets and intelligent and thoughtful UI and UX designs. With our Continuity UI, you can do things like work the gains and pans on the rotaries and then at the touch of a soft key, switch to EQ or dynamics across the whole strip. The console also provides for a highly configurable fast grab tab on the right hand side of each screen. This offers another way to quickly and easily access controls like the aux sends, the EQs, compressors, effect sends, or whatever on the currently selected channel, and lock it into a specific channel if you wish. With the continuity UI, it's the engineer's decision on how you'd like to work, not the console's. The design of the Advances was approached in a very holistic manner to include 24 motorized touch-sensitive faders across two banks, each with six layers accessed by dedicated keys. In this way, the faders continue through the layers and allow for quick and dedicated hardware control that access any layer you'd like. Each fader strip is configured with an input channel, a mix, an effects send, an effects return, a DCA master, or even a MIDI strip. And each fader strip has a dedicated PAFL or solo mix and mute buttons with indicators and a paired rotary controller. This design allows the engineer a perfect blend of flexibility and workflow layout while keeping key fader strip functions aligned and ready to commit to muscle memory. This sense of continuity and fluid control with the Continuity UI even extends to the console's surface illumination. Given the brightness of 208 square inches of full high-def capacitive touchscreens, a huge amount of screen visual and control real estate, down-firing LED illumination just wasn't necessary. Where engineers told us they wanted and needed more illumination was on the fader position. To provide a continually focused and clear and effective range of illumination on the faders, the Advantis features an industry-first, customizable armrest illumination, putting light where you need it and not where you don't. And that's what we mean by the Continuity UI. Now I'd like to show you a little bit more about the soft rotary controls that I mentioned. There's actually three located on the right side of each screen, three here and three over here. The soft rotaries on the Avantis allow engineers to control a wide variety of user assignable parameters. In order to change the parameter of the soft rotaries, you select the setup button, and then the control tab, and then the custom rotary tab. In the drop down menu for each rotary, you can choose from preamp, filter, gate, compressor, send levels to any of the mixes or effects buses, automatic mic mixing priority, in-ear monitor previews or monitor wedge previews if you wish. On the very top of the screen, you can choose how long you want the fast grab pop-out window to stay open, from zero to 20 seconds. So we'll choose two seconds here. As soon as I touch the soft rotary control, the fast grab window pops open, and in two seconds, it'll go away. Now, another way to view the soft rotary fast grab pop-out window is to hit the view button here. It automatically stays out, you change the parameters you want, and when you hit the view button again, it goes away. So let's take a look at the Saves button on the Advantis, allowing you an easy way to protect and unprotect a channel or a selection of parameters on a channel, safe from any changes during a scene recall. This feature is very easy to use. Simply hold down the Saves button and you can easily visualize on the two very large screens the parameters that you want to save. As you can see here, I have now saved my EQ on this particular channel, channel 6. Once I release it, I'm back to mixing and the EQ will not be altered by any scene changes whatsoever. To unsafe the EQ selection on the channel, I simply press the Safes button again and unselect that particular parameter or channel. Now I will be showing you the Freeze button on the Avantis. This would be a great way to ensure that you always have a vocal or money channel physical fader control that is most important to you right at your fingertips, no matter which one of the six layers you are on. A little note here on the Advantis. The name block displays the name, color, channel type, number, metering information, and other channel parameters in a clearly defined and illogically located area on the surface. 
You can freeze any channel by holding the physical freeze button, and then you can easily select any channel by tapping the particular name block you want to freeze. As you can see here, I have now frozen channel 6. Once I release it, I'm back to mixing as normal, and channel 6 fader remains in place no matter which layer I change in between. To unfreeze a channel, I simply press the freeze button again and unselect that particular name block. And that was just a quick overview of just a few of the many innovative features within the Advantis Continuity UI, designed to perfectly merge the physical and virtual, provide flexibility with familiarity, and put the engineer in total control. I think when you get your hands on this interface, you're going to love it. So if you have some more questions, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer today. Thanks for watching and have a great day.